Hello, my name is James Ackroyd and today I'll be talking about internal marketing in the case of Diamond Wise. And I'll be looking at different aspects about Diamond Wise business, how they can improve their entrepreneurial marketing. Definitions of entrepreneurial marketing. Looking at Stokes' definition, let me break this down by looking at how the definition indicates entrepreneurial marketers should be, by, should be adapting to forms that are appropriate to small and medium sized businesses. This is optional for the entrepreneur to implement this into the marketing strategy and by breaking all normal conventions or unit techniques that aren't used by traditional marketing departments and big businesses. We can also see how Stokes indicates a lot of the emphasis on the individual entrepreneur and how they would implement into this into their business. Chaston also puts emphasis on the individual when it comes to the marketing of the business and how the individual can break down the convention of traditional marketing techniques. However, in Chaston's definition, he also focuses on the process of developing new solutions rather than adopting existing traditional marketing techniques. This difference between the two definitions may be due to the timescale on when the theorists gave their definitions, as Chaston's definition is more recent, the use of social media and the internet are far more prominent, making it easier for the entrepreneurial and marketers to develop new ways to reach a wider audience. Diamond Whites are a UK business that sell whitening products to people within the UK and abroad, claiming to be one of the UK's fastest growing teeth whitening companies. When looking at their business, it shows they a wide range of products aimed at men and women, specifically at a younger age range. Phil on Diamond White's main focus when it comes to entrepreneurial marketing is to exploit social media and affiliate marketing through the use of getting celebrities to endorse their products through products such as Instagram and Twitter. This allows them to reach a very focused market like being young adults. These types of celebrities, types of celebrities that are used to advertise these products are often usually reality TV stars who appear to be, who are who appeal to this type of target market. Using types of celebrities in an effective way to promote their products, often these types of programs such as Jordi Shaw and Towie are programs that are watched by their target market and that aspire to look as good as these personalities on these programs. In addition with this, likely being a young target market, they're offering extremely good discounts through these social media accounts. For example, Mario from Jordi Shaw offering a 13 discount and Mario from Towie offering a new product, the business is rolled out for 1p when buying an existing product. I feel they do implement this very well as an entrepreneur marketing method as they only have 21,400 followers on Twitter compared to mine from Jordan Shaw having 1 million plus social media followers on Twitter. In addition to this, we can also sell Diamond White to Mario Falcone to post on Instagram, posting post their products on Instagram. He has 956,000 followers compared to Diamond White's 56,000. This shows just how a great audience to be reaching by using this method of advertising. And this should also be a factor of the cost of traditional method of advertising, such as TV, for example. Also, there's a range of different reality TV stars that they use to promote. I feel they do you effectively use affiliation marketing and social media very effectively as part of their marketing strategy. The only downside I can mainly see with this is even though they're using celebrities with large audiences, often social media posts go unnoticed by a lot of the number of their followers, and it doesn't guarantee the full exposure to their followers. They may have to increase the overall frequency of the ads, which will also increase the price of this method. When looking at Diamond White, we can also look at how they use innovation as a method of entrepreneurial marketing through their products. They're able to highlight these innovations in conjunction with their social media and affiliate marketing techniques. When looking at this selection of products they offer, we see they're all based on self whitening methods that you buy yourself and use at home. This is breaking the usual convention when it comes to teeth whitening as they would usually be done by a professional with prices of laser whitening treatment costing from one company £239 an hour for treatment. You can see the appeal of teeth whitening products that have, have the pricing strategy of the diamond whites as their target market will be very interested in this kind of low low end pricing strategy. In addition, they are also trying to introduce new products into the such as their black teeth whitening products which essentially they claim they have 100% activated coconut shell charcoal which will enhance the teeth whitening process. By using these methods they are able to promote their product by selling it as a radical innovation within the market but also as a price innovation as the product is also cheap and alternative traditional methods. However, one slight issue with the strategy that I'm doing research is that the market has now become saturated with these kind of products and it could potentially be getting in towards the end of the life cycle. This is why they have introduced products such as the white edition polish to combat this. One of the recommendations, I think one of the key things I would look at recommending to Diamond Whites would be to, you know, to generally broaden their marketing techniques at the moment as it does not appear they are mainly focused on just the social media aspects and the affiliated marketing techniques in order to gain interest in sales for the business. However, with keeping this in mind, I do believe one of the best potential ways to increase their online presence would be to look into the idea of valor marketing. As they're all doing mainly using social media, if they can put together a video or some kind of content that has potential to go viral, this will also increase their online presence and help them reach a larger audience. Furthermore, I do believe Dan White can use a hashtag more effectively as mainly using social media advertising products. 
they potentially could use a hashtag where you buy a new product, you hashtag that when you first get the product and with that you get a 20% discount. What that allows them to build a tribe around the product and the business which allows them to gather people who